Hey guys, how's it going? Carterman here. In today's video, we're going to be replacing the switch for the DSC cluster. So this is a pretty simple DIY. Um, it you know takes just a couple of quick tools and probably about five minutes of your time. Uh, if you've never taken off the shift boot, that can be a little confusing. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And as always, if you have any questions, please you know leave a comment below. So you can see right here, these are the buttons that I'm referring to. And uh, actually I can show you real easily how brittle they are. Uh, this is not from abuse. You know, these buttons over time, they just get flimsy. And in one case, uh, what is it? I think DSC off comes off. I went ahead and grabbed uh, from FCP Euro because it turns out that they sell pretty much everything for BMWs. I went ahead and grabbed a replacement one. So I'm basically gonna go through the process now of how to install that. So here's everything you need for the DIY. Uh, basically just have a trim puller. It's plastic, doesn't mar. I have a little hook to get one of the buttons. First step, of course, is to pull off the shift boot. Now, I'm gonna be doing this with one hand, so it may take a little bit longer and also be a little bit harder. I've taken this off before to replace the shift knob, so it's probably a little bit easier than, say, a new car. Okay, so now that the shift boot is uh, moved, and like I said, I, this came off pretty easy because I've done it before, uh, the next step is to actually grab right here behind the switch assembly and right here with your thumb and basically start pulling up the trim. And the reason for this is because the plug that you need is actually sitting right under here. Um, so if you have iDrive, obviously be very careful. Don't pull this up more than you absolutely need to. And then you're going to see this foam here. Just you know, move that out of the way a little bit. And if you put your finger under here, you end up feeling the plug. So I'm going to see if I can get a little bit of an angle on this. Uh, if you see... I'm trying to do this with one hand again. This right here is the plug in question. Uh, there's this little piece of felt here. Come on, right there where my finger's on it that actually holds it so it doesn't rattle. Uh, honestly, this car is so loud that I don't think you could hear it rattle, but you know, you obviously you don't want to remove that just because why have rattles in your car? All right, so the next step is to disconnect this plug. There's two tabs, one here, one on the bottom. Just pull it off and now it's free. So you can slowly let this back down. Uh, it's not gonna seat properly, so don't worry. You then wanna take a hook, and basically all you wanna do is just carefully, especially if you have the leather trim interior, just pull back, lift up, and then obviously lift up on this one if it doesn't come free. This is clearly an older piece, so it's just coming free without much, without much fuss. So then you just basically pull out the old switch, and toss it aside because you really have no use for it and you just basically take your new switch brand new buttons all work this is from a newer model but it still works and it has actually traction control off is now a little picture so it has EDC and still has power in addition to that on the newer one they put some felt around here so that you don't have that tape if that tape goes or you don't have it uh, you're not going to get any rattling so that's a nice little addition like I said this is from a newer model but again, it works for the older ones. Uh, obviously, check your part numbers. I put the part numbers in the description. For my car, this works, which is 2011. So I'm gonna head and put it in. So all you do, real simple, you just basically feed it through here. Don't snap it down just yet. Come up under here, grab the wire. And again, I'm gonna have to put the camera down, but basically just connect it, connect it underneath like you disconnected it. So now that the wire is in place, basically just seat it on the bottom first, just like that, and snap her into place. And there you go, installed. Now just make sure to make sure that your wire under here is routed, put this felt back, and then of course put your shift boot back. So let's go ahead and do that now. So now that the trim piece is all in, uh, basically the last step on this install is to put the shift boot down and connect it back to its clips, and then just you know push down your leather which on yours is probably gonna be all one piece, so it's gonna be a little bit different. And that's it, that's the install. Uh, it's very simple, looks a lot cleaner. Obviously new buttons are always nice. So let's go ahead and start up the car and see if these function, which is of course the moment of truth. So we got power. We got EDC. 
and there's no light here but on the dash it shows if I zoom in there uh, right there it's showing traction control so I can turn it back like that let me kill down the exhaust so I can actually talk over it um, so yeah there you go all installed takes but a few minutes but at the end of the day it, it cleans up the interior makes it look nice um, I'm at I was actually looking for hold on one second let me shut the car off kind of hard to talk over the exhaust uh, I was actually looking for the carbon interior that came with the GTS uh, it is nowhere to be found I actually found a company in Ohio that had it and when I went to go buy it they didn't so still on the hunt I do like you know I like the leather trim here um, I wouldn't I don't think I would change this because it's actually like leather carbon but this here I want to have is carbon fiber uh, there actually is a company Auto Technica that makes it but it's aftermarket so I'm not sure how good it's gonna look and then like I mentioned before I'm gonna be doing you know this this trim piece right here which is just a matter of a couple screws back here but you know if you've never done it before I'm gonna be making a video on that as well and then last but not least I'm gonna be replacing uh, these buttons so that this all looks clean and then you know basically the interior will look pretty much as good as new you know the, the interior is a little bit dirty but we're coming out of winter so i'll be getting a good detail soon uh car is now on summer tires i'm sure if you follow me on instagram you saw that i'm still looking for wheels but unfortunately haven't found any and you know at the end of the day i actually like the zcp or the zhp wheels a lot so I'm not sure if I'm going to be replacing them. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Uh, like I mentioned, all of the part numbers in the description below. If you have any questions on the installation, definitely leave a comment below. Please like, subscribe, and share this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So a couple weeks ago, I actually mentioned that my wife and I are starting a new venture, and I kind of alluded to what it is. I said that it, you know, it does good and all that good stuff, but realistically, it doesn't give you a lot of details. Well, what my wife and I are doing is I'm taking my experience from this channel and her and I are actually creating another YouTube channel completely separate of this that focuses solely on foster care. So it'll be, you know, light on the updates for our own foster kids, but more on helping other parents that want to be foster parents or uh, people that are already in it and have questions. Uh, we just want to basically give back our experience and then our continued experience daily. You know, at the moment we have twins and we've learned a lot even with this placement and we've learned stuff through every placement that we've had. So uh, like anything that I do, my wife is also excited about it. She wants to come onto the channel with me and you know, we're basically just going to provide insight and our feedback and personal experience with fostering.